YouTube is home to nearly every piece of music in the world, most of it uploaded by fans across the world with simple pictures. Putting together a music video with pictures is really easy and only requires that you have some pictures, the music file and a simple video editing software. Now there are a lot of video editing tools out there, so the real question is which one of those tools fits your skill level and really helps you to create the type of video you want to create. If you have been frustrated with all those bells and whistles of using complicated video editing tools just to make a simple video, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Winston the Solopreneur Warrior and in this video, I'm going to show you two simple tools that you can put images and music files together as a video on YouTube. Now, if this is your first time to this channel and you're interested in making money with the videos you upload on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Now, although many people use video editing software such as Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere and the others to create videos, there is still some value on online web-based tools like Animoto, especially when it comes to creating something fast and flashy. Animoto is an online video builder and slideshow video for social sites. Basically, you can use Animoto for amazing high quality slideshows and videos. If you want to put together some of your seasonal or holiday pictures, even business events, Animoto will help you with some great video themed backgrounds. With this tool, you can use photos and cell phone videos from events you have attended to quickly generate fun and engaging videos that really capture the events. The fact that Animoto is easy to use for a video editing tool is definitely the best thing about this software. Something that personally I wouldn't even know how to do outside of using this tool. With Animoto, you can add whatever type of music you want to add and tweak it, including the speed at which the images are shown and the image order. Trust me, if you want to do something like this yourself, it will involve different softwares and maybe cost you a lot. This is a tool that is highly recommended for business, personal users and even less tech savvy users like me. Now, similar tools to Animoto will be tools like we video and biteable. Let's now look at another type of tool you can use to create videos using just image with an audio or a music file. Now, Wavy is great for those who want to just upload a single image with a background music. Now, what makes Wavy different from the other video creation tools is that it has this ability of creating wave animations of any audio uploaded in the video web based tool. Now just check out this short video clip on how to use Wavy to upload your audio files and pictures on YouTube. We all know that YouTube is the second largest search engine on the web and can be one of the best places to promote content. However, if you're an audio creator, you probably know that YouTube isn't really designed for handling audio content. If you have audio that you want to share and promote on YouTube, I have some good and some bad news. We'll start with the bad. YouTube doesn't support audio file uploads. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's move on to the good news. YouTube supports almost all video file types. This means that all you have to do is convert your audio into a video file and then you can upload it directly to YouTube. Here at Wave, we found that adding an audio waveform animation to videos along with an image and the audio content is the best way to grab the attention of YouTube viewers. Let's walk through a quick demo of how you can use Wave to turn your audio into YouTube videos that look like this. The only things that you need to get started is a free wave account, an audio file, and an image. First, let's go create that free wave account. Now that we've logged in with that new account, our first step is to create a new design. Wave provides a concept called cards, also known as designs. Think of them as templates that include an image, a waveform, and text. You combine the cards with audio to create video clips, which you can then share on social media, including YouTube. Let's click here to create a new design. 
There are three design layouts to choose from. For YouTube, the horizontal is always the best. Feel free to experiment with the other layouts if you're wanting to create audio visual posts for Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Next, let's use the editor to configure our design. This includes a background image, a waveform animation, and text, which is optional. Be sure to browse through the waveform animation libraries and find the best one that fits your design. Be sure to play around and get the design exactly how you want it. But don't worry, you can always come back and edit this design as many times as you want. Also, we're always adding new waveform animations to the library, so be sure to check back regularly for updates. Once you have the design just how you want it, click Save. Next, let's head to the Create page. This is where we'll be able to select our design and upload our audio file. If the audio file is longer than the segment that you want converted to a video, just drag your cursor or mouse into the audio bar and click and drag to trim to a smaller segment. You can preview your segment and even listen to the last five seconds to make sure it's just right. When you're ready, hit generate. Once the video completes, it will be available for download in the My Videos page. Just download the video and upload it directly to your YouTube account. You can also connect Wave to your Facebook or Twitter account and share it directly there. And don't forget, you can share this Wave video anywhere that supports MP4 file uploads. So be sure to put it on your blog, Instagram, or any other platforms that you utilize. Now, if you're ready to get started, just head to wave.co and sign up for a free account. Thank mm -hmm. you.